Phoenix. Hello everyone, Dr. Data Science here. In today's video, we want to answer a very important question. Can you use the Apple M2 Max GPU cores along with Metal Performance Shaders or MPS for training deep learning models? I've put the complete code on GitHub, so feel free to download it and run it on your machine. The code is written in a device agnostic way which means it will work seamlessly whether you're using an NVIDIA GPU, Mac Silicon, or even just a CPU. If you try it, don't forget to comment below with the numbers you get on your device. I love to see how it performs across different setups. Also, if you're enjoying this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more content on deep learning and data science. For this experiment, we are using the C410 dataset. It's a standard dataset with 10 classes of images, each 32 by 32 pixels in size. To train on this, I created a VGG-like model with a straightforward architecture. It features a series of convolutional layers with 64, 128, and 256 filters, each followed by ReLU activations and max pulling layers. After the convolutional block, the model ends with a fully connected classifier that brings the image features down to 10 output classes. The training process on both devices was timed to determine the average duration per epoch. The result, Apple M2 Max completed each epoch in an average of 20.79 seconds whereas the NVIDIA T4 took about 21.83 seconds per epoch. This difference, while a slide, shows that the Apple M2 Max can indeed be a viable option for deep learning training, especially when working with smaller datasets and moderate model sizes. While it may not replace high-end NVIDIA GPUs in larger-scale training, it's certainly powerful enough for many research and development tasks.